112 million years ago, the Sahara was in a vast desert, but a lush, sprawling wetland. And ruling these ancient waters wasn't your everyday crocodile. No, this was the reign of an absolute giant, a true emperor of the prehistoric swamps. Sarcasitius, Imperator, the soup. Forget the crocodiles you see today. Imagine a creature stretching an incredible 40 feet long. That's twice the size of the largest saltwater crocodile alive now. Longer than a school bus. Its sheer scale is mine. This wasn't just a big reptile. It was a colossal behemoth. A true apex predator of its time. And its size was matched by its strength. Sarcasuchus was built like a living battle tank. Its body was covered in thick, interlocking bony plates called osteoderms. Creating a suit of natural armor, this formidable protection would have made it nearly invincible against other predators sharing its environment. Its skull alone was over five feet long, packed with more than a hundred thick, sturdy teeth. These weren't just for slicing. They were designed for gripping and crushing, capable of exerting an immense bite force. Think about the power needed to take down the dinosaurs that roamed these ancient riverbanks. Paleontologists believe Sarkasachis was an ambush predator, much like its modern relatives, but on a terrifyingly grander scale. It would lie in wait, almost completely submerged, with only its eyes and nostrils breaking the water's surface. Its eyes, positioned on top of its head, gave it a periscope-like view of its surroundings, allowing it to spot unsuspecting prey coming to the water's edge for a drink. When an unfortunate dinosaur, like the long-necked Tyrannosaurus, ventured too close, Sarkasutos would erupt from the water with explosive force. Using its powerful jaws, it would drag its massive meal into the river, using the infamous death roll to subdue and dismember its prey. It was a master of its domain, an undisputed king of the Cretaceous waterways. Today, the Sahara holds only the fossilized remains of this incredible soup, a silent testament to a lost world and the giants that once roamed it. The story of Sarkasusius reminds us just how different and how much more dangerous our planet once was. Thanks for joining me on this journey back in time. If you were amazed by the story of the Super Cruck, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you won't miss our next prehistoric adventure. See you next time.